When I walk on by, old girls be looking like they be fly. Can you say that one again? Christopher, Cheryl, and Jennifer. Okay, um, what is your favorite food or drink? Uh, apple juice. Apple juice? Um, do you have a favorite color? Green. Shade of money. <laughs> um, did you have a favorite activity? Right now, it's usually watching television. <laughs> came out in 1948 or what happened? In 1948? Like around the, the 50s. What came out? Yeah. Yeah, do you know anything that came out? Well, I was born in 1948. It's 1950. I wouldn't remember too much. Yeah. Uh, like maybe 1967? Hmm? 1967 maybe? I graduated out of high school in 67. High school? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and um, what were three great moments in your life? First one, getting married. Okay. Second one, having my children. Third one I'm actually working on. Okay. I'm trying to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, um that is about it. Out of all the places that you've gone for traveling for business, where would you what what would you say is your favorite place? Africa. Ooh. South Africa was actually the best place I ever went. To. Okay. And then, but I've been in China. Mm -hmm. I've walked the Great Wall. Never mm -hmm. got a piece of it at home. <laughs> it was looking like kicked the wall and took a small chunk. <laughs> <laughs> How many different countries have you been to? Oh boy, South Africa, China, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand. I went to Germany, England, Portugal, Paul. Uh, uh, let's see, what else? Austri Austria, um, Belgium, Mexico, I've been in. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> oh, Japan, from Japan, I was in Japan. Yeah. But most of those times were, 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 uh, weren't just a week or two, three days, they were uh, months. I was usually spending six to eight, six months to 18 months time there, mm. working in facilities, or helping facilities out. Okay. Mm. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Um. On here it says that uh, your favorite music is country western. Right. Um, what would be your favorite artist or band? Mm, I really don't have one. I just, just enjoy like it. them all. Okay. Like everybody in general. So, and and the Mozart is just you enjoy his music. Yeah. Just okay. relaxing. You know, gotcha. Elevator music, you might say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, I just I found it kind of interesting that you like country western and then it said Mozart as well. Yeah. So. Well, actually, I like all music. The only thing I don't care for is rock acid, but rest rock. Oh, okay. You know, with all acid rock and mm -hmm. somebody's getting out there and beating the hell out of a guitar just to beat on it. Yeah. I mean, that's not music to me. No, that's, that's cool.
other than that, yes, that's about it. Um, do you have a favorite football team, like NFL, college? College would be Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? Ohio State. Ohio State? Yeah. For college, Ohio State. For college, Ohio State. Ohio State? Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. Hey, Michigan. <laughs> By the way, in a couple weeks, we're going to win. Mm -mm. Probably. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I agree on that one. Okay, what else? Anything else, guys? Um. No. Any questions for us? Pardon? Any questions for us? Anything? What do you want to be when you get, you get older? Um, what would you like to be? Let's put it that way. Um, I don't know, maybe design things like technology or like video games or something. Video games, computer? Yeah. Technology? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, like a bone? Like they slice for like, you like bone? <laughs> Like yeah. bones, when you, uh, like say like someone like breaks an arm or something, I can help them. Oh, you want to be a doctor? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to specialize in bones? Like yeah. arm. Broken arms or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anything else? No. Have you have you always wanted to? Uh, or the the career path that you chose has that always been? what you wanted to do, or was that just I wanted to be an engineer. I didn't necessarily want to be an industrial engineer, but okay. it just worked out that way. And uh, But I wanted that uh, since grade school, being an engineer. Okay. You know, I always thought about being, being an engineer in grade school. And lucky enough, it did work out that way. And I was f fascinated, or, or lucky enough, to get a job that took me all over the world and uh, got to see a lot of sites working for a corporation. Lear Corporation had given me uh, 320 facilities and they have uh, other than about uh, 150 countries. So it gave me the opportunity to travel and to meet people, not just to meet people as, as uh, Trap tourists do, mm -hmm. but meet people as they actually live. Okay. What what uh, things they like, what uh, what they want for their kids and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, it was interesting. They have the same values that we have here for American has for our kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, they're not much different other than the language. You know, they still want the same things. Uh, Believe it or not, women are women. <laughs> They're the same there as they are here, you know. Uh, no big changes. It's it's uh, genetics. It's not culture most of the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was really it was really interesting to see how people live, you know, with what, how they handle different problems and mm -hmm. stuff. So I was very fortunate. If you could pinpoint your favorite culture of all the different places you've been, which one would it be? Oh, boy. Hmm. I would say it would probably be... Uh, that's a tough question. I'll let you have two. If you, if you could pick maybe your favorite two, then. Well, if I was in Thailand, that was one culture. And the other one I would say was probably Chinese okay. kind of culture. What stood out about them that you just enjoyed so much? Well, it's not about what I enjoyed. It's probably what I didn't enjoy. Oh, like okay. In China, <laughs> in China uh, there are restroom facilities are terrible compared to what we have for restrooms. And a lot of times 
times you got to be careful what countries you go into because they have their food cycle and their waste cycle mixed. In other words, here's your waste, your food cycle. Here it's a circle, okay? And then here's your waste cycle over here. In the United States, we keep these separated. Mm -hmm. But in those countries, they're interlocked. Okay. Yeah. And then consequently, you got to be very careful of what food you eat, mm. where you eat, yeah. and stuff like that. It's oh. like uh, I was observing outside of a restaurant one day, and they were washing the dishes. Well, they were washing dishes with water. I wouldn't wash the tires of my car with. I mean, and that's what they were washing dishes with. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's whole different culture. You get on the food market, and you see rat, rats in a basket, and people buy them. They cook them. Hmm. You know, rat soup. So it's it's tough to, to see these different cultures rather than how how we live. Actually, the young Americans we have are very very good mm -hmm. compared to other cultures. Other cultures are. It's pretty bad, pretty ugly out there. You know? mm -hmm. So that's the reason why. Yeah. So have you always been a Mopar fan? The Dodges and Lions? Yes, yes. Yeah. Every Chrysler. Every Chrysler. <laughs> Any reason? Just. <coughs> well, I like the style of the Charger for one okay. thing. I thought that was a cool, you know. Pontiac gets some nice stuff too. Mm -hmm. the, the Tempest and the GTO yeah. and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. You know. But I would see those probably be my best. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, anything else, guys? Is this it? Hmm? No. That's it. That's it? Yeah. No, you can't do it. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train Going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised the South Detroit He took the midnight train Going anywhere 